Hey, Eric Sider here, and in this video, I'm going to be going over my uh, super simple, all purpose natural house cleaner. All right, let's get into it. So, this uh, really couldn't be any easier. It's uh, vinegar based, so if you have an aversion to vinegar, then it's probably not going to work for you, but. Uh, after a few minutes, the vinegar smell goes away, so I don't really have, see any issues with it. Um, you're gonna need yourself a spray bottle, water, vinegar, and then optional, some essential oils for slight scent. I use this for basically everything, countertops, bathroom, windows, mirrors. Um, so this is a uh, one liter spray bottle, and uh, I've already gone ahead and marked the uh, lines for the water and the vinegar so that way when you're doing it in the future you don't even have to break out the measuring cups. I'm doing a 75% water 25% vinegar. Uh, I just somewhat arbitrary but I found that's a pretty good balance between uh, the cleaning properties of vinegar but not uh, overkill. So let's uh, put it together. This is going to be uh, 750 milliliters of water. And now uh, if uh, it could just as easily be uh, three cups to one cup, but uh, I find milliliters in the metric system much more user friendly. And then we have uh, 250 mil of vinegar. It's just your basic household white vinegar. And then I'm going to go and do some essential oils. Uh, lemon myrtle I still have from years ago, my first trip to Australia. It's a native tree and has an amazing lemon scent. So I'm do about... Whoa, Let's call that three or four drops. And then you're going to need to use some solubilizer. It's basically an emulsifier to keep the oil and liquid, oil and water combined. And uh, this is polysorbate 20, which is pretty standard and uh, fairly inert. And you're going to do either the same or twice as much polysorbate as the essential oil, so let's call that four drops of essential oils, eight drops of polysorbate, 20, and then give it a good shake. Now there are some natural alternatives. This is not technically a natural product. It is derived from sorbitol, which is a basically fruit alcohol, but it is not itself natural, and uh, there are some natural alternatives, but they're, as far as I can tell, they're not nearly as effective. So, there we go. And you're ready to clean. Alright, uh, let me know if you try it out, you have success, or you have a favorite natural cleaner. Uh, let us know in the comments, the recipes. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.